Ever wonder how I, an avid gardener, got into hydroponics? Let me tell you a story. Now, I've always had a green thumb, a love for plants and the earthy aroma of soil, but picture this, it's the middle of winter, the ground is frozen solid, and I'm cooped up indoors dreaming of spring's bloom. The longing to garden was palpable but the frosty weather, not so accommodating. Then there was the issue of space. My tiny city apartment, crammed with a myriad of potted plants, had started to resemble a jungle more than a home. And let's not even get started on the continuous battle with pests and diseases, a war I was steadily losing. It was during one such bleak winter day, as I was nursing a cup of hot cocoa and leafing through a gardening magazine that I stumbled upon an article about hydroponics. Hydro what, you ask? That was my reaction too. It seemed like a concept straight out of a science fiction novel. Growing plants without soil? Unheard of. But the more I read, the more intrigued I became. Could this be the solution to my winter blues and space woes? Could I actually grow plants year-round in my tiny apartment without a speck of soil? The idea was both bizarre and fascinating, and so, with a mix of skepticism and curiosity, I found myself ordering my first hydroponics kit online. Little did I know then, that I was embarking on a journey that would completely redefine my understanding of gardening. And that's how I found myself venturing into the fascinating world of hydroponics. But, what is hydroponics you ask? Hydroponics, quite simply, is the art of growing plants without soil. Imagine your plants suspended in air, their roots reaching out not for dirt, but for nutrient-rich water. This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie but the fascinating world of hydroponics. What's the magic behind this? Well, plants primarily require soil for the nutrients it contains, not the dirt itself. Hydroponics allows us to provide these essential nutrients directly through water, creating a more controlled and efficient environment for plant growth. Think of it as a buffet for plants, where they get to pick and choose the nutrients they need, without the extra effort of extracting them from the soil. This results in healthier, faster-growing plants. Plus, it's an excellent solution for spaces where traditional soil-based cultivation isn't possible. Now different types of hydroponic systems cater to different plant needs. Some of these include the nutrient film technique, deep water culture, wick, ebb and flow, drip, aeroponics, and Kratky method. Each of these systems has unique features that make them suitable for specific plant types and growing conditions. Sounds interesting right? But how do these systems work? Let's dive in. Imagine a river flowing with nutrients and your plants just sipping from it. That's the nutrient film technique or NFT system for you. The NFT system is a hydroponics superhero. No soil, no problem. This system uses a thin film of nutrient-rich water that constantly flows over the roots of your plants. The water is so shallow it's more like a mist, hence the name, film. This system allows the plants to take up their food while also getting plenty of oxygen. The result? Lush, healthy plants that grow faster and stronger than their soil-grown counterparts. This system is best suited for lightweight, fast-growing plants. Think lettuce, spinach, and herbs. These plants have a short growing period and don't have heavy fruit to support. Imagine having fresh basil or mint right in your kitchen any time of the year. But what about the water lovers? Those plants that can't get enough of H2O? For them, we have the deep water culture or DWC system. In a DWC system, plants are suspended in a nutrient solution with their roots fully submerged. But don't worry, they're not drowning. An air pump constantly bubbles oxygen into the water so the roots have all they need to thrive. This system is perfect for water-loving plants like tomatoes and cucumbers, and those that require longer growth periods. So you've got your nutrient river in the NFT, and your deep dive in the DWC. Both systems offer a unique way to grow plants without soil, harnessing the power of water and nutrients. Now what if you could use a system that acts like a self-watering pot? Enter the wick system. The wick system is as simple as it gets in hydroponics, but don't underestimate its effectiveness. So what's the wick system all about? Picture this, a plant sitting in a pot, with a couple of wicks connecting the plant to a nutrient solution. The wicks pull up the solution into the plant's growth medium, feeding it with all the nutrients it needs. It's like a plant's personal butler, delivering dinner right to its roots. This system is perfect for water-loving plants and those with a smaller root system. But if you're thinking, hey, I want something a bit more dynamic, then let's dive into the ebb and flow system. It's like a roller coaster ride for your plants, but a gentle, nourishing one. In this system, your plants sit in a tray, which periodically gets flooded with nutrient solution, and then drained. It's a cycle of feast and rest. 
ebb and flow. This mimics nature's rhythm, providing your plants with a more natural growing environment. And the best part? It's fantastic for a wide range of plants, especially those that love a good soak, followed by a drying period. So we have the wick system. Simplicity personified, perfect for water-loving plants and those with a smaller root system. And we have the ebb and flow system, a dynamic rhythmic system mimicking nature's cycles, ideal for a wide variety of plants. Both systems offer their own unique advantages, and your choice ultimately depends on the type of plants you want to grow and the level of involvement you prefer in their growth process. For those who like to have more control, you might find the drip system and aeroponics intriguing. Imagine giving your plants a personalized spa treatment. That's what drip and aeroponics systems do. Now let's take a closer look at these two methods. First up, the drip system. This system is like a caring gardener, gently watering the roots of your plants with nutrient-rich solutions. But how does it work? Picture a network of tubes connected to each plant, dripping the nourishing solution directly to the roots. Precision is key here, ensuring just the right amount of hydration for each plant. This method is brilliant for larger plants that need more nutrients, and it's a favorite among fruit growers too. Now, let's transport ourselves to the future. Welcome to the world of aeroponics. This system is like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's very real and incredibly effective. Here plants are suspended in air, yes you heard it right, in air. And the roots? They get misted with nutrient-rich water. It's like a refreshing morning fog for your plants every few minutes. This system is perfect for lightweight plants with fast growth cycles, think lettuce or herbs. It's efficient, uses less water, and the growth rate? It's nothing less than stellar. But hold on, there's a catch. Both these systems, while efficient, require continuous power supply. So if your area faces frequent power cuts, you might want to have a backup plan. It's truly fascinating how these systems are tailored to meet the unique needs of different plants, isn't it? You could say it's like matchmaking but for plants and their perfect hydroponic system. And that, my friends, is a whirlwind tour of the world of hydroponic systems. So we've traversed through the river of NFT, dived deep with DWC, waded through wick and ebb and amp flow, and showered our plants with drip and aeroponics. Quite an adventure, wasn't it? The NFT system with its thin film of nutrient-rich water is a great fit for leafy greens. On the other hand, DWC or deep water culture immerses your plants in a nutrient bath, perfect for those water-loving varieties. We then skim the surface of the wick system, offering a simple, passive approach to hydroponics and the ebb and amp flow system, a tidal force in its own right with its flooding and draining cycles, ideal for larger plants. Lastly, we explored the drip system, delivering nutrients drop by precious drop, and the high-tech aeroponics where plants hang in the air, misted with a nutrient spray. Remember, each system has its own charm and suitability. So, which hydroponic system will you choose for your garden? Thank you for watching and don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting gardening adventures.